Businesses all across the planet are looking to make connections with people. Well, guess what? Divine Connections Magazine is helping businesses not only walk in their purpose and passion, but to get connected to their potential. That's right. You've got to connect to your potential and you can make it happen now because it is time to know your worth. As you get connected to people all across the planet, Divine Connections Magazine will make it happen. And get featured in the magazine today and get your copy now because there's no other time than a divine time to get connected to Divine Connections Magazine. Great day, great day, everyone. Hope all is well. Um, this is Dolores Williams with Divine Connections. I am so excited, everybody. It's here. So I am grateful, grateful for the opportunity to share with you what we have going on. And if this is something that's been on my heart for a long time to do, and I am just now getting up the time um, to do it. And so I want to give a shout out to Miss Erica Brooks, because she really motivated me to do it because we had our interview and um, I was like, I got to do it. I got to do it. And I need you to be a speaker. And so she agreed. And I, all I need is a little bit of push. It'll give me a little bit of push, then I can get it on in. Okay. Awesome. Well, let's start off with prayer. Father God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. Thank you for an opportunity just to be here in the land of the living. If we said or done anything that is unlike you, God, we ask you that you forgive us and give us guiding to give us the right heart and the pure mind to do what you have asked us to do. Bless each and every person on this line. Um, even the people that's going to listen to the replay, um, open up our hearts, open up our minds, allow us to hear what you have for us to hear on today. Allow us to see in the spirit and in the flesh what you desire for us to have and see on today. Bless every individual, bless every family, bless every business, bless every ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Stare up the gift that's within us, God. If we are uh, slow or proactive in just doing what we desire for us to do in this season and in this time, God, we ask you to help us, give us motivation and inspiration that we will do what you will have us to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Continue to cover us in your blood. And we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Awesome, awesome. So as everybody is coming in, put your information in the chat. We're going to be multitasking, okay, a lot uh, while we're doing this. We're going to network in the chat. I want you to connect with at least one person in the chat. So if somebody puts some information in the chat and it's something that you are interested in, make sure you grab that information and follow up with them within two days, okay? Because sometimes we get busy and we forget and... um you know, uh, I don't want you guys to do that. And so make sure you save the chat. It's three dots at the bottom where you can click on save as well. And so we'll go from there. Um, I'm going to start with some information. I'm multitasking, so um, I don't want to miss anybody that's trying to come in. But um, Divine Connection is a faith space and inspirational magazine that comes out quarterly in print as well as online. Uh, we connect with different businesses, entrepreneurs, gospel artists, praise dance moms, vendors, anyone that's doing something great in the community. Um, I do two events a year, one in March and one in October. My March event is coming up. And if you are in the North Carolina area, I would really love, 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 love for you to be a part. Now you do have to register in one of the options uh, one is 65, one is 150, and one is 250. For each um for each per for each registration, you choose one of the options. Okay. There's a form that you fill out and then you choose one of the options. But what we're doing is celebrating people in the community that are making it happen. And so I'll have a couple of gospel groups. We're gonna have a panel. We're gonna have probably a little um small lunch, light lunch. Um, and, couple, and then a panel and then vendors as well. So we want to support our vendors as well. That date is Saturday, March 30th in Hall River, North Carolina, 904 East Main Street, okay? Um, so um, 
while we're doing that, y'all put if like where y'all from, if y'all from North Carolina or what area you are from, put that in the chat as well, okay? Um, let me just make sure I'm going over everything. Oh, there is a marketing special that I am doing as far as promotion. So you will, um, I love, love connecting and promoting people of what they're doing. So with what I do with the marketing, I want to give you a 30 minute interview, give you a half page ad in the magazine, let that run for three months, give you a 30 second video as well, and send your information out to my email blast that has about 5,000, okay? And I'm just gonna tell you now at 699, the value is 1500, but for right now, okay, for the special group, it's gonna be only 699. So if you are interested in that uh, packet, send me a message, all right? My information is in the chat. Um, or you can just leave a message. Yes, I'm interested. I'm going to save the chat as well. Okay. So that's a major, major thing that I'm doing. Um, we're going to do this once a month. I'm going to have different things. Next month is going to be the men talking about taking off the mask. And then the next month after that is going to be um, the women again. All right. And so I put the dates in the chat as well. So make sure you get that. And now that you guys are in my system, you will get the update of what's going on with that okay we have you can subscribe to divine connections you can be become an ambassador um you can get the media packet also i'm doing anthology so it's like stories um that you can put together if y'all haven't heard about that i think it's like individuals that have their own story it's like whatever your divine connection is in your life right we're going to put a book together um and you're going to talk about that i have that package as well so anything that i'm talking about put in the chat what you're interested in you will also after this get a um survey that will also have that information and you will tell me what you're interested in, okay? So tonight we are talking about women and taking care of ourselves. We do a lot. We have a lot of hats. We do a lot of things. And I just want to take the time out using the platform to connect for one, put God first and to stare up the gift and just to look at ourselves and allow others to encourage us as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started um, because again, we're on limited time. So Pastor Dargan is going to start with us. Um, we're talking about um, life in itself, putting God first, um, meditating, praying. Then we're going to have Miss Erica talk about mental health. That is her field and having that divine connection. Then we're going to have our Miss Annette. Um, she has a powerful, powerful testimony um, about she has diabetes, but diabetes does not have her. And then we're going to give you a special guest with Mr. Eric because he does vegan food. So not just we're going to talk about it. We're going to give you some options of how you can help and um, how we can help you or people that's on here that you can connect with. All right. So we're going to start with Pastor Dargan. If you would come on in, unmute yourself, just click unmute. And then we will get started. Can you see it? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me well? Um, a little bit. It's a little stack. Can you say something else? Okay, can you hear me? Okay. That's better. Okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, is that better? Okay, great. Well, I just want to say... Great. Wait, um, it's going in and out. Lori, I raise for being here with all you. Can you, you hear us, Miss yeah. Darden? You're you're a little static. We're having a hard yeah, time. Yeah, I I can hear you all, but there's still a lot. <clears throat> you're having a hard time hearing me yeah mm -hmm. all right so do me a favor go out it's, and come it's back going in. in and out yeah so go yeah. out and come back in oh, all right. and we'll start with miss erica and see if we can get your line cleared up okay, okay. all right miss erica i'll do that all right okay thank you okay, okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with me yes ma'am if you don't mind <laughs> okay um <clears throat> so good evening all um, please forgive me. I am sick today and my voice is going in and out, but um, we are not going to give the devil any enjoyment because we're going to press on through and hopefully you understand everything I say. Um, 
typically I don't sound like Kermit the Frog when I'm talking to people and doing therapy sessions. So um, bear with me. Um, my name is Erica Brooks. I'm a licensed professional counselor um, and certified substance abuse counselor here in Richmond, Virginia. Although I do work um, with males and females for mental health counseling and substance abuse counseling, as well as um, evaluations for substance abuse treatment. Um, my, my love is to work with women um, and girls in self-care, um, as well as the mental health field. The reason I love to do so is that I believe um, we cannot help anyone if our cup is empty. So a lot of times you'll hear me say, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So oftentimes we will do, we will race and run and run and run and run. We're mothers, daughters, church goers, church workers. Um, we are sisters, we're friends, we're employees. Um, we're giving to our community. So we make sure we take care of everybody else before we take care of ourselves. And I'm not gonna exclude you, Mr. Eric, you're in there too, the men do it as well. Um, because I'm starting to see more men that are taking on more and more roles and having a hard time balancing. So I like to tell people that you have to take care of yourself first and foremost. You cannot take care of other people. Um, just like when you're on an airplane. How many of y'all have ridden on it, been on the airplane before? When the stewardess comes on and they start talking and they give you that safety spiel. Part of that safety spiel is what? It's putting on your oxygen mask if we get into trouble, right? We put it on ourselves first, and then we put on put it on the person sitting next to us when you need help. The reason we do that is, is because if you're not well taken care of, if you're not doing good, you can't take care of anybody else. The Bible doesn't tell us that we have to be superwomen or supermen. It doesn't tell us that we have to save each other. It does say that we do have to help be our brother's keeper, but it doesn't say take care of your brother before you take care of yourself and then come on back and make sure you got what you need, right? Mm -hmm. So when I'm talking with people, I typically tell them that first of all, check the five, the five senses, five things for yourself. And I call them pens, P-E-N-S-E. And I, um, so I'll say spend, S-P-E-N-D. Um, the S, your spiritual. Make sure you are taking care of your spiritual every day. You are doing something to take care of your spirit, whether it is going to church, whether it's going to the synagogue, whether it is meeting with your Bible study group, whatever you need to do to connect with the spirit, make sure that you're doing that every day. The P, the P is your physical. So make sure you're doing something to take care of your body physically. When I say that, I mean, make sure you're getting some exercise. Make sure you're moving. And that can be something as simple as taking a walk outside in nature. It can be getting up and doing some jumping jacks. For many of us, um, for many people, if there is a reason that you can't get up and do something, you can do chair exercises. You can lift weight from your chair. You can do chair yoga. Um, and you don't have to buy weights or go to a gym. You can use household items. And if anybody needs examples, I can certainly send them to you. If you send, send me an email. The E is the emotional. What's going on with your mental health? Are you stressed out? Are you feeling like it's too much? I need to talk to somebody. There is nothing wrong with having a therapist. One of the things I tell people is it is okay to have God and a therapist. God gave some of us the ability to be a therapist. Some days I wonder why he called me to be a therapist <laughs> because it a lot sometimes, but that's that's what he gave me. That's the gift he gave me. He gave me the gift of gab and he gave me the gift of two ears so that I can listen, but I can also regurgitate some information to you to try to help you and let you know what he says in his word. 
So if you need to go to therapy, it's a beautiful thing. If you try therapy and the first therapist doesn't work, guess what? Find another one. There are plenty of therapists out there that will work with you. The N is the, um, is the nutritional. What are you putting into yourself? Um, the Bible doesn't tell us about eating things like McDonald's or Kentucky Fried Chicken um, or, you know, our favorite hostess cupcakes and all that good stuff, right? Eating things like that sometimes take a toll on our mental and our physical. Believe it or not, if you eat too many carbs, carbohydrates, the bad carbs, that can have an effect on your mental health. It can increase your anxiety. So when you're taking good care of yourself, watch the chips that you eat sometimes. Instead of eating the, the um, potato chips, try eating, you know, if you have to eat the veggie straws. They're made from vegetables, less of the bad carbohydrates, but try sneaking in some kale chips or try sneaking in carrot sticks or cucumber slices, things that, that are gonna help to increase positive mental health. The other thing I tell people with the nutritionist, make sure you're getting your water. When we're getting our water in, that replenishes our mind. It replenishes our energy. It lets our body recycle and reset. So make sure that you're putting in the good stuff to take good care of you. The last one is the D, the devotional. And this is where I typically tell people to get involved with someone. Spend that time in devotion in your, in your prayer life. Spend your time in writing. Spend your time in communicating with God. Now note I put them separate. Because the spiritual is where we're going to be reading our Bible, getting our material, and we're going to be getting our knowledge. But our devotional is we're, we're going to be giving thanks and we're going to be joining with others to make sure that we're doing good. Also with my spend, I tell people to make sure you have someone who is like-minded to be your accountability partner. When you're feeling down, you need somebody that you can talk to, to balance, and to bring you back into focus. Whether that be you connect with the therapist or you just connect with them for the moment. But I can't, um, I cannot leave. I'd be remiss with, with stop talking if I don't say this. God is your greatest source. God will give you your answers, but you do have to be patient and you do have to listen. But he also wants us to do our work. Faith without works is dead. So some of that work is taking care of you. So the first step I want you all to do is to take off that Superman, Superwoman cape and sit back, get, get you a cup of water or warm tea, whatever you need to do, and take a breath. It can be very relaxing and it can be very, very refilling. Awesome. 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 Thank you so Thank you. much. You're I welcome. Your Her information is in the chat if you need to connect with her. Again, if you're just coming in, a welcome. Put your information in the chat. I want you to at least connect with one person in the chat. Make sure you come in and mute um, so we can have a clear call. And next, we're going to have Miss Jada. Let's see if her line is clear. Miss Jada, can you unmute for me? Give me one second. All right. Ms. Jada, can you unmute? All right. Let's see. Okay. I hope this is better. I think it's about the Can you hear me? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. How's it? It's good. It's about the same. It's good. Is, yeah. it, is it choppy? I'm, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead by the spirit. Now, I'm just going to start talking. Yeah. And, uh, and so, uh, because, you know, things happen like, like this, and uh, we just clear these airwaves right now in the name of Jesus. But I so agree with Mrs. Brooks that self-care is so important and putting yourself first is important. And, um, and one of the things that I do when I wake up in the morning, of course, I acknowledge God first, you know, um, when I roll over, I acknowledge him first and 
I go in the house and I call it waking up the house and I go through the house and I begin to wake up the house and pray over the house and um and and, and, and it's not a loud prayer because you know my husband's still asleep it's a quiet meditation because um you know, the word says the, the meditation is what we're thinking on. And the word says, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our your sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. So that is part of my self-care. I put that water on because to me, the water is a sign of the Holy Spirit. I always drink some water, um, whether it's lemon water or tea. I have a teapot set. I believe some of my sisters are on here tonight and they know that I have this special teapot set, you know, that is a pretty pink and, you know, that old Victorian kind of teapot set with the gold trim. And um, then I go and I um, make my tea, make up my side of the bed, but all along I'm thinking about the devotional. I'm getting ready to sit down and commune with God because I love the name of your um, company being a divine connection because that's what, when we wake up, we wanna recognize every day that we are divine. And because the word divine means to be created in the likeness and in the image of, of the creator of God. And um, we, I think it's unstable, but um, we are the network, but we are divine. And I start thinking about that every day. And that is the first part of my self-care. And then I sit down and I have that tea and I commune with God that day, that morning. And um, if no matter what I'm doing, if I have to go to a doctor's appointment, if I have to go out for the day, I make sure in that time to get up. And that's usually going to be an hour and a half earlier than what you need to get up to. Um, but if I only have two or three minutes, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take that time and divinely connect with God. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's the first part of my self-care. And I've done the therapy because of the um, experiences I've had. I've had, you know, I'm a combat veteran. I have a lot of experiences. So I've done the therapy. Um, I've done the, um, the spas, the retreats. And uh, I usually take a bath every night. And um, it's just things like that that is so much a part of the self-care. Calling your friends, you know, praying with people. Um, but um, that is one of the main things that I do is, is get up and meditate and pray and commune with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Thank you for that. Her information is also in the chat. And look, I'm going to do one thing. I have a number that I'm thinking about. So put a number in the chat. If you get the number that I'm thinking about, I will give you a free half page ad in the magazine. Okay. Meanwhile, go ahead and um, get your information in the chat. So you guys are going to network in the chat and I want you to at least connect with one person. Okay. That you see on there with their information. All right. Miss Annette has a powerful testimony. So would you please help me to welcome Miss Annette and listen very closely to her testimony. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Dolores. You are so and such wonderful. Thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm so honored. You're welcome. Uh, again, my name is Annette Nichols. I have been married almost 24 years, July the 4th, be 24 years. I have three grown children and, and eight grandchildren. And I'll just tell you a little bit about my family. I'm the sixth child of six children. And actually, mm -hmm. when you see us, we look so much alike. But one thing people didn't know, we all are diabetics. And so as we go through, um, I'll tell you about each one of them. My uh, very oldest brother who died in a few days uh, when he was born. My mother died when she was 39. My father died when he was 63. I have a brother that died when he was 57 and have a sister that died when she was 61, which made it a year, a Christmas day of last year. And so uh, I have a brother that's still living in Statesville. He have a half of a pancreas and a colostomy bag. I have a sister who's two years older than me. She needs a kidney right away or she got to go to dialysis. So she's like four, um, stage four uh, kidney failure. And so I don't call myself being lucky, but I call myself being blessed that I'm able here to 
to tell y'all the story of myself. And three things that I would like to cover that I do for myself to make sure that I have control over diabetes. Diabetes doesn't have control over me. Mm -hmm. What I do, again, we do, we meditate. I put God first every day. My time, I go to sleep at 10, back up at 2. That's just my normal hours. But that time is my time. I meditate mm -hmm. on God's word. I go ahead and just do whatever I want to do in that morning just to get myself set for that day. When the next thing I do, I make sure I listen to my body. I know what goes in my body and how to affect my body. If I eat early peas, mm -hmm. my sugar will be up for days, maybe three or four days. When I eat strawberries, I can't eat no more than three strawberries because my sugar will be up. So even though those things are very good to eat, I still got to watch how much and when I put it in my body or how my body is going to react. So it means a lot when you know your body. And the last thing I do is I keep my body moving. I find something to do every day from Pilates to walking, running, whatever I have to do. If I do the, um, the trampoline where you jump on your private trampoline yourself, I do that. I do stretches, whatever, because if you're like me, I don't like to do the same thing all the time. But repetitions kill me. And if I get off track, I might not get back on track. So I know what works for me. And you got to educate yourself. Keep educating yourself and apply it to you where you can. That means a lot. Mm -hmm. But I do want to thank you so much for the time that you've given me to share my little story. If you need to know more, I'm in the chat. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you as well. Okay. All right. We have about 10 minutes. I still haven't seen the number yet. So keep putting numbers in the chat. And then Mr. Eric, tell us a little bit about your vegan. And so I wanted to bring him. I know he's a guy, even though it was a woman thing, but um, he had an opportunity. I had an opportunity to meet him and eat some of his food and it's vegan and it's good. So I wanted to give you a resource of, you know, different things that we do and can help our, help, our, help ourselves. Okay. So Mr. Eric, come on in the house. Tell me a little bit about you. When I was hungry as a child growing up in Brooklyn, New York, four <laughs> brothers, four sisters. Uh -huh. um, all of us had different daddies except me. I was the only one that had the same dad as myself. Everyone else had at least two dads. Um, my mother hated my father. She told me years later, after I was in my 50s, I'm 54 now, she told me in my early 50s that she wanted to kill me as a child and maybe said two nice words to me. Mm -hmm. um, but we were used to eating the government cheese, the what the expired food um, growing up in Brooklyn Bed Bedford Stuyvesant. Um, and of course, one of my older sisters who was just a child herself would make the food and we only got one meal a day. If you didn't eat it, you just drank from the faucet. That's just how it was. Um, so one day the food wasn't good. Roaches came out of food. That's, that's a small thing. Um, seeing rats come through the walls, again, a small thing. But this time the food wasn't good. My brother spat in it. He blew his nose. Um, it was nasty. Put some of it in his mouth, spat it back out. And I was like, I'm not eating that. And he ate it. He said, it's my germs. And my sister looked at me and said, you already know. And I drank from the faucet. And I said, I'm going to eat tomorrow. I'm going to eat tomorrow. I don't care what it is. And the food stunk up the house. It was in between um, gasoline and fish sauce, whatever it was. Nobody wanted to eat it. And we were all hungry. I learned how to do this. And I went to town. I couldn't smell it. I couldn't taste it. I was eating everybody. I felt like Goldilocks and the three bears. I was eating all the food. So because of the smell, um, we always had to stay quiet, you know, didn't want to attract the attention of, you know, child protection services or get our mother in trouble with some of the things we were doing. And mother came. So one of the neighbors told us, like, we don't know what they're doing. We smell from the smell. And um, she came in, she was upset. My sisters took the heat off of them by saying, but look, he's eating it. And she looked at me eating. And she said, oh, he's eating like a little stuffy man. 
So the name of my business is Stuffy Man's Vegan Stuff. Usually when someone's stuffy or a man, then they're resistant to change. But the word said, God gave us, you know, Genesis in the beginning, God gave us 129, every seed bearing plant, every tree that has fruit and seeds, he gave it to us to eat. Also in Corinthians, he tells us, the word tells us um, that our bodies are the temple. So we should honor our bodies as unto the Lord. So it's like, okay. So everyone said everything that the pastor, I agree every single thing, Eric, Miss Erica, every single, Annette, every single thing. I've watched people, I watched my adopted mother go from over 300 pounds to being less than 100 pounds in the last 13 years of her life, not being able to talk or communicate. So why am I vegan? Well, I'm 54. As a black man, I'm supposed to die at 55 or 57. That's my age expectancy. Um, I don't like that statistic. I, I love my children. I love my wife. We've been married going on 27 years and I have three children, 21, 19, and my son's gonna turn 16 this year. I want to see, I love life and I wanna see good days. Therefore, I'll keep my tongue from evil. I'll be careful of whatever I eat because you're known by your fruit. So when I go somewhere, and people say, oh, well, what are you eating? What are you doing? Well, I'm a vegan. Oh, I can't do no vegan. I can't leave my chicken. I understand. You, I understand. No problem. I have a saying on the side of my truck. The difficulty in life is the choice. And the average adult makes about 35,000 choices a day. Shouldn't one of them be to honor your temple, your body, your life, your family? I knew someone, Dr. Sharon Bynum, um, Dr. Sharon Elliott Bynum, um, she did a lot for the community in Durham. I saw in the chat someone was for Durham. And when she passed and had this giant funeral, her daughter, I remember, came up to the microphone and said she took care of everyone and forgot to take care of herself. I didn't have a food truck then. I didn't have a meal plan then. I didn't have the means to help her. And it still gives me chills. I was called to do this a while back. And I was like, no, I like my teaching job. I like this safe protection, stay in my lane. But whether you need food to take your diabetes down, I know how to do that. I know how to make raw food for you. I know how to watch things for you to eat. Whether it's you like comfort foods, I know how to make Southern comfort foods. That's what I gave Miss D. I know how to. And people will look at my, well, how do you have wings and uh, crab cake? And I know I was trained as a chef a long time ago by a French and a German chef. And so I take all those skills, all those gifts, and I help people. I assist people. You don't have time because you can't wear that cape for your mental health. And you know, food affects everything. Mm -hmm. Your mental, your physical, your spiritual. You know that and I know that. Awesome. awesome. I don't take this lightly. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. You don't take it lightly either. Contact me. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. So though, thank you. That was great. Um, we have about three minutes left. Make sure you guys save the chat. There's a lot of information in the chat. I want you to guys to connect with at least one person within the next two days. Is that some, this, this something that y'all are interested in and want to do more of? Y'all can unmute if you need to. Y'all can unmute and talk to me. Yes, yes. this is great. This is very good. Awesome. All right, we got about three minutes. Does anybody have any comments? Information is in the chat. I really do want you guys to come to my next event, March 30th. That's in the chat. You're going to get a survey with all that information on there. Let me know what questions you have. Um, I just want to bring people together. There's a lot of resources and connections out here, and I want to make it happen, and I want to really do a lot of connections this year. I'm going to be doing this once a year, I mean, once a month, I'm sorry. So next month, I'm doing the men. Take it, it's going to be talking about taking off the mask. So um, if you want more of this, just let me know. Um, you can talk to me now. You can put it in the survey. Um, what questions or thoughts you have? We got about two minutes. Oh, man, let me, wait, let me say, Mr. Renee, you won the half a page. All right. So yay to Miss Renee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a question about how to save the chat. You might want to tell oh, the three dots at the bottom right. Mm -hmm. If you're on your computer. Now, I don't know how to do it if you're on your phone, but if you're on your computer, it's three dots over to your right at the very bottom. Click on mm -hmm. that and it'll say save chat, save chat. All right. Next question. We got two minutes. Anybody want to say anything else? Hey, mama. 
My mama's here. I want to say that this is amazing. Hey, and I want to thank you so much um, for bringing your vision to life oh. and wanting to bring people together because this is truly community. And this is truly a, a, what we can call an ecosystem. If we do, that's why mm -hmm. I saved it. Like you said, I was obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice, yeah. right? I went ahead and saved it because I want to connect yeah. with more than one person. Right. I am right. in Durham. Eric, that's me. I'm in Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. And so thank you so much. My name is Dr. Letitia Nicole yeah, Beating. Yeah. I speak life so that we all may have life more abundantly. Peace and blessing. Yeah, she had a powerful testimony. I met her when she um was had COVID a couple of years ago and she made some tea and she was just off the chain. Anybody else? We got about one minute. Anybody else want to say something right quick? Can I get can I get a copy of the chat, please? Because I can't save it. I'm on my phone. I got you. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else? Can you send Mama one as well, Dolores? Yeah, I got you, Ma. I, I just want to say I am grateful for you doing this. Um, you brought together a great group of panelists to speak. Um, Seems you like felt that little spirit, so I'm very proud of you for moving forward with this. Miss awesome. Erica is the one that helped me push and got me in for my interview, so I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it now. I put a date on it, and we are here, so thank all you right. all. We would do this again. If y'all want more, <laughs> let me know. If the demand is high, I'll get more of doing this. You know, it won't be like we're just doing 40 minutes. We got less than a minute, so it's going to cut off. But make sure you save the chat. <laughs> and then um, we'll go from there. I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you the survey, and I hope I see y'all in my next event. All right? Thank you. So y'all reach out to me and let me know what you think. Thank about you. This. All right. Thank love y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Divine Connections Magazine. Get major exposure for your business. Is someone looking for your service? Do you need networking? Are you a gospel artist or a ministry? Do you have a major event that you want to promote? Divine Connections Magazine has the solution for you. We can distribute to residents, businesses, churches, and online. Don't miss this opportunity to expand your marketing locally and around the world. Find out more about us at DivineConnectionsMagazine.com. Get your spot in the next issue of Divine Connections Magazine by emailing us for details at Divine Connections Magazine at gmail.com. Make sure to like us on Facebook at Divine Connections Marketing. Follow us on Instagram at Divine Connections. Let's get it started now.